Hello everyone. Welcome back to Today we're diving into the fascinating world of emotional resilience and exploring the science behind how to stop taking things personally. If you've ever found yourself feeling hurt or offended by what others say or do, this video is for you. Let's get started. Our brains are wired to interpret social situations, often leading us to internalize comments or actions. Understanding this process is the first step to breaking free from the personalization trap. Evolutionary perspective. Our ancestors relied on social bonds for survival, making sensitivity to social cues crucial. The brain's negativity bias, it tends to prioritize negative information for self-preservation. How we perceive situations plays a vital role in how personally we take things. Let's explore the factors influencing our perception. Cognitive distortions. Recognizing and challenging irrational thoughts can help shift your perspective. The spotlight effect, realizing that people are often too focused on themselves to notice your perceived flaws. Now, let's discuss practical strategies supported by science to stop taking things personally and cultivate emotional resilience. Mindfulness and meditation. Research shows that these practices can reduce emotional reactivity. Cognitive restructuring. Consciously changing negative thought patterns helps in building resilience. Positive affirmations. Reinforcing positive self-talk boosts self-esteem and diminishes the impact of external opinions. Empathy is a powerful tool in understanding others' perspectives and reducing personalization. Let's explore its scientific foundation. Mirror neurons. These brain cells enable us to understand and share the feelings of others, fostering empathy. Perspective-taking exercises, engaging in activities that encourage seeing situations from different viewpoints enhances empathy. There you have it, a scientifically backed guide on how to stop taking things personally. Remember, emotional resilience is a skill that can be developed over time with practice and patience. By understanding the psychology behind personalization, reshaping your perception, and incorporating empathy into your interactions, you can build a stronger emotional foundation. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more content on emotional well-being. Thank you for watching and until next time, stay resilient.